Alright, and now for Tails' first stage, Prison Lane. Find the core of the prison and blow it up. Now this is where the homing shot will really come in handy for you. Because there are a lot of flying enemies and, uh, yeah. That's basically all I was going for. Uh, with Tails' gameplay, your main objective is usually just get to the end, but you also want to get a high score by targeting as many enemies as possible in one fell swoop. The more enemies you target and hit with your homing attack, the more points you'll score. Okay. So yeah, homing attack, Tails has a different version of it compared to Sonic, but you know, it's, it's basically the same thing. You're doing an attack that homes in on people. Forget what's up here. Uh, nothing of import. So let's just continue on this way. Picking up more chaos drives, and I do not remember where all the. Whoa, hello. I do not remember where all of the chow boxes are here. Oh, and we walked into Omo Chow. Omo Chow is uh, your tutorial in this game, but he is very vocal and pretty annoying as a result. So get used to hearing me, you know, rag on Omo Chow. Sometimes you can even attack Omo Chow, which is fun. Oh, uh, another quick note before it actually happens. Uh, Tails does not lose all of his uh, life whenever he gets hit by an enemy. He, as you notice at the bottom of the screen, once the Chaos Drives go away, there's a blue bar. That bar indicates how much health Tails has. And if you take damage, then all you need to do is collect more rings to restore your health. Uh, a gorilla will take that. I'll grab some more uh, run Chaos Drives as well. But if you have taken no damage, then you can't restore your health past what your what it, you know its maximum is. Also, the lock-on system is neat and all, but sometimes it just doesn't work. You also cannot hold it forever, so don't worry about that really high-pitched droning that happens. You can always let it go if it ever gets too annoying. Hello, guy. Goodbye, guy. Go. Pop some more capsules open. Blow that guy up. There's a little tiger here. Let's grab him before moving on. In case it wasn't obvious yet, uh, basically destroy all of the GUN robots in the vicinity to open up the gates to allow you to progress. Also, sometimes a golden GUN robot will spawn in, and I believe shooting them will allow you to gain more points. I could be totally wrong on that, but that's what I remembered from being a kid. Maybe that was a rumor passed around the schoolyard, who knows. There's our reward for, I think, having over 100 rings when passing the checkpoint which is a magnet shield, which uh, attracts any nearby rings to you. Also, before we move on, we have to walk up here to this elevator and shoot that one guy that's off screen, and then that'll allow this gate to open up. Shoot these guys, grab that green one, and finally, blow everybody up. And there's our goal. Uh, real quick note, there's another guy right up there. And you can come over here, but you cannot destroy these iron crates yet, so don't worry too much about it. I did it! Tail stages are inherently pretty slow by comparison to Sonic and Knuckles ones, so get used to seeing the time bonuses be pretty oh, lengthy for tail stages compared to the other two. But yeah, we've uh, stocked up on power-ups for our Chow, so now time for the, again, the best part of the game, the Chow Garden. And Chow World is even uh, cooler when playing as Tails because now he's actually out of his mech and you can fly as him. Albeit not kind of like how you could in uh, other Sonic games where uh, where Tails can fly and ascend, basically. Uh, wherever you fly in this game as Tails, just hold the jump button in midair and you can fly forever, but you cannot ascend or descend well, you can descend by letting go of the button, but you cannot ascend again until you jump off the ground. 
Uh, anyway, let us find the chow we've already given some animals to. Uh, this is just how I'm going to be doing things for a bit. We're going to focus on one chow when using the heroes, and then the other chow probably going to focus on when going into the dark story. And uh, additionally, when it comes to animals, probably just going to focus on giving one of the chow the animals. And then the other chow can just be whatever. So here we have uh, the the monobrow tiger. There we go. Let's feed him up. I believe Tails is actually one of the trickier ones to do the um, the exploit with. level up his run there. Now, as you can notice, uh, this Chow's power level is level 2, and his uh, stat is 38. But his run is already level 24, at le or, sorry, 24 points at level 1. So, it's possible that his aptitude towards running is better than his aptitude towards power. We can definitely compare right now once he dings. 45 in running versus 38 in power. So he, he's definitely a better runner than a, uh, a strong arm. And if you level up a Chow's running enough... Oh, real quick note, uh, now that I've given him a lot of this one. If you give a Chow a Chaos Drive, but then immediately pet it, it will not gain the perk of uh, whatever Chaos Drive you gave it. So keep that in mind. Do not be so trigger happy on the on the B button. Oh, he stopped just short. Oh, couldn't quite nail it. You'll also notice now a little bit of a difference uh, in appearance with our tiger chow outside of, you know, the body parts of uh, different animals. There's some little baubles on top of his head that are now sprouting because we've interacted with him uh, with a hero over and over. You can also increase this uh, effect by just petting them over and over with a specific affinity of uh, character. But uh, this Chow is actually starting to become what is known as a hero Chow. Once it evolves, w when it has high enough affinity with a, uh, a hero, uh-oh. Well, that other one is just in the drink. You gotta get out of there, buddy. There you go. Uh, once our hero Chow here evolves into an adult, then he will be a hero Chow, and his little, uh, um, the blue ball on top of his head will become a halo. Also, he has enough running, uh, stat to be able to walk on his own, rather than crawling. Oh, but sometimes he's still prone to trip. Here he goes. He's on an adventure. Let's give him a little bit of flight experience as well. Maybe he can use that tail to fly. Oh, well, couldn't do the exploit. All right, let's just hand these off and get right back to the story mode. Maybe I can give... Did he fall in the water again? Our other baby who can't quite run yet? There you go, have that. Yeah, yeah. You're an, ex an explorative type, aren't you? You eat. I think this is just a personality trait, uh, that some Chow are more voracious eaters. So they'll eat fruit faster. Uh, not necessarily better, so they won't gain any more stamina when doing so, but, you know. There he goes. If they are not hungry, then they will generally not finish off their fruit. Uh, case in point, the this fruit was from uh, our hero Chow, wherever he is. There he is. Another note real quick, uh, these eggshells, they'll still stick around after you hatch the, the Chows, but they you can give them to the Chow, they won't know what to do with it. Anyway, back to the game. Well, the side game of Sonic Adventure 2. This is the main game, honestly. Sonic, uh, invented theoretical physics while well, huh? he was in jail. Amy, keep your voice down. Hence why there are so many scrawlings on the back. Like, on the walls. Amy Rose is here! How'd you get here? 
Well, if you gotta know, I caught a ride with Tay. No, you did not. Are you sure you don't need my help? It looks like you could use it. The reason I'm in here is because of that fake hedgehog. You mean that black hedgehog? Did you see it? Where is it? Hey, his pronoun is he, him. Will you marry me? No way. I thought I had you this time. Sonic using it. Come on. You're our hero. You're not supposed to be saying that. That black hedgehog came here with Dr. Eggman. So, Eggman's behind this, huh? What's all that writing on the wall anyway? Did you write that? Wait for me, Sonic. He's such a brat sometimes. Kettle, pot. Anyway, now for our next Sonic stage, Metal Harbor. And this is our first stage where we're actually going to acquire an upgrade for our heroes. But we'll get there momentarily. For now, let's just keep running through loops in this harbor. Somehow there are loops in a in a seaport. This is our first chow box, which will house the key. So we can attack that guy, and yep, barely made it that time. And go. So yeah, the homing attack, true to its name, will home in on enemies when you're close by. But if you, there are no enemies close by, then uh, you'll just do a dash forward, which can give you some good speed. Oh, and here we go. Here is our upgrade. The light shoes. Light dash to move at light speed. Basically, whenever you are approaching a line of rings, tap the B button and you'll zoom across that path. Very cool. Let's go. I think that another chow box is right around here. Yeah. It has a few animals. I guess I'll pick them up. I'm not generally one for picking up uh, the animals when it comes to upgrading chow because I just don't really like how the, uh, the body parts work on the chow. So I've always been more of a Chaos Drive type uh, parent, if you can call me that. Somersault underneath those. And we'll move on. Zoom. There's a seal just then, but uh, we'll pass him up. It's fine. I believe there's a, a bonus point. I'm not entirely sure what the number means, but uh, when you collect some... Uh, whoa. Oh, there's a phoenix. Cool. Uh, whenever you collect some animals in the stage just out in the middle of nowhere, uh, it counts a, uh, a number for you. I'm not entirely sure what the number means, though. I'm also going to try something risky here. Oh my god, yeah! That is an optional path. You do not need to take that additional step. You could definitely get on that rocket way sooner, but uh, that was my second time ever, believe it or not, getting to this path. I've known about it for uh, for years, but I don't believe I've ever tried it up until recently. All right, for this 21, you have to jump. There's another 5-1 there. A 1-up you need to jump for, and a 5. Cool. I am playing way better than uh, I used to. And that's game. B rank? Yeah. Too easy. Piece of cake. Like it felt like I was playing pretty well, but uh, apparently not well enough. Back to the Chow world. I don't believe there will be anything at the black market that I'm really interested in buying right now. So let me just offload all the chaos drives. And the Phoenix, obviously. <laughs> oh, let's watch this guy. There he goes. Take flight, Phoenix, or don't. Get out of there. You are entirely able, by the way, to throw your chow, but that is a bit of a dick move, so I would not I would not advise it if you want to take care of these cute little creatures. <laughs> Also, I do really like the, uh, the wings on him. And they're gone. Well, now he's a tiger peacock. Look at him go. 
The rare animals, I believe, are just for aesthetic. Like, they're rare in that they do not come around very often, so if you want particular animal parts for your shell, that's the best way of using them. Because, uh, I don't know how good they are stats-wise. Like, if you really want to grind out the rare animals just for their stats. Also, you might have noticed before that uh, some animals will cause cer certain stats to lower as opposed to increase. So while some stats will increase, others will lower. It's uh, kind of a trade-off. Whereas with Chaos Drives, they only ever increase stats, albeit not quite as potent, potently, as uh, as the other ones, as the animals. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. Gonna pet you Don't real quick worry, to keep you standing still. Now have more, more running. Become as fast as Sonic the Hedgehog. Here you go. Oh, wasn't quite positioned right for that. How about that? There we go. Boom. Nice. There. Cool. Here? Nope, not quite. Ah, there it goes. Alright. I have used the exploit enough, so let us just fill these up here. And actually, I'm thinking he's got some good run on him right now, so why don't we try putting him up in a race? Yeah, if you come back behind this waterfall over here, you can go to either Chow Race or Chow Karate. And here we are at the Chow Race entrance. You can race your little babies. Beginner race is single player stuff, party race is multiplayer. So if you have uh, Chow data on different memory cards, you can uh, bring them over here and have them race each other and eventually fight each other, but that's a different uh, mode altogether. So Crab Pool here is the course for swimming experts, Stump Valley is for flight, Mushroom Forest is for run, and Block Canyon is for power or strength. We're gonna send our little Chow up in the Mushroom Forest race. See how he does. And these are all the, the other babies he's up against. Although all of them can walk, so that might spell disaster, we'll see. That uh, text scrolling by at the bottom of the screen just said that if you press the A button during a race, you get to cheer, you get to cheer your chow on, and that'll actually make them go a little bit faster. I'm not really confident in this race actually uh, because he just reached level four run, and his stamina is still at level zero, so uh, he might lose stamina pretty quickly, and he's definitely currently behind the others. Uh, if we press A button, though, he gets a little power boost, like a speed boost. Oh, now he's getting another speed boost, technically, by getting pushed around. Let's get him up those hills. Any Chow during this race also has the potential of tripping, so, uh, it's just Super Smash Brothers Brawl all over again. That was a close one. If I didn't cheer him on, he wouldn't have won. Da, da, da. He won his first race. I'm so proud of him. I did not mean to press start to actually pause the game. I wanted to skip past that. Uh, for right now, I'm not confident he can win too many other races outside of maybe the uh, the swimming one. Uh-oh. Uh did both of them jump in? Guys. Okay, now I'm really not putting up either of you in the swimming race. That was a very jiggly chow just then. Here we go. Stay. Eat. Uh, what happened to that other one? There we go. I was wondering where one of the half-eaten ones went. I feel like there's another one around here somewhere, but I could be wrong. Still eating. Hi. And he's done. Or is he?
Also, this one just fell, and I believe that the riper the fruit, the more interested the chow tend to be in eating it. Even if they're already full, they'll tend to stick around with uh, fresh fruit. I got two notches down. He's gonna try throwing it out. Oh, he finished it in all in one go. Good job. Uh, I know this one's still kind of stale, but uh, I just want that one tick of stamina, and then you'll you'll level that up. There you go. Plus 18. He's probably not going to be very good for stamina, considering his fly is 21, and his stamina is 18, both at level 1. Oh, he actually finished the whole thing. Good for him. All right, let's get out of here. Move on to the next stage.